Hello viewers. How are you doing that there? I hope you are doing great. It's me again, Rafi Yaku from Excel Graphics Studio. Today, I'm going to differentiate between RGB color mode and uh, CMYK color mode in uh, Corel Draw. As a designer, there are things you need to be very sure before you embark on the journey of design. The first thing is, you need to ask yourself, is my design is going to be a printing work or uh, a web display work? This is why CMYK and RGB color comes in. So let's get started and see how to set up your page for printing job and set your page for web display job. The first thing to do is to go to file when you go to file you click on new for the purpose of this tutorial i will set a page for letterhead paper design so just title your page as a letterhead design so that's the first thing come to the presets destination select uh Okay, come to size, select A4. A4, that is the size for letterhead in design. Then, primary color mode. You see, under this primary color mode, we have two things there that you need to consider before you start your design. The first one is RGB. If you select RGB, Believe me, by the time you print out your letterhead paper, you are going to have, let's say for instance, you use blue color for your design. By the time you print it out, the blue color is going to change because when you are doing your setting in, 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 before design, you select a web display format, which is RGB. So I highly recommend you select CMYK. In any printing job you are doing before you start your design this is very important for all designers the next one here is rendering resolution the resolution is 300 maximum 300 dpi that is it finally you are done with your setting CMYK decide the name of the, the, the design then the last thing to do is to click OK So, this is how you can set a page for printing job. So now, let's take a look at uh, how you can set a page for web display job. Now, let us delete this one. Then, you still have to go back to file. When you click on file, choose new. When you choose new, just title this one uh, web banner. Web banner has its own size. Click on this size drop down. You can select 160 by 600 pixels. Then come to color rendering mode. Select RGB. Like I said earlier, if you are doing a web display job, always select RGB. Then come to the rendering resolution, choose 300. Finally, click OK. So come to Zoom to click on the minus to zoom in so that you can see the entire document. Now, to create a page border, double click this rectangle. The border will update. Then you can begin to apply color. All this color display here are RGB color display. So if you design with RGB, you'll be very sure that your design is going to internet. If you design with CMYK, you are 100% sure that your design is going to be print. So I hope this helped a little bit. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel so that whenever I upload video, you can watch the video and learn one or two things. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.